You ever watch an anime and think to yourself, man, I, I really needed this. My soul needed this. That's how Escape the Infinity has me feeling right now. Let's talk. But before we continue, we have a sponsor, and today it's Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a dope subscription service where in exchange for your funds, you get sent a box of cool stuff every month. You can get anything from a nice looking shirt like the one I got here, to Funko Pops that aren't available anywhere else. They work with a range of different companies to provide the best loot for you, and their boxes cover a wide range of fan bases, from gaming to anime. They even have specific crates like the Wizarding World one for all my Harry Potter fans out there. Like sci-fi? They got you covered with crates for that too. Or if you'd rather just go random and see what the RNG guys are gonna give you, you can just go for the regular Loot Crate box. My favorite part about Loot Crate are the different themes for the month though. Like one month you may get an animal theme crate, then next month you may get one centered around superheroes. It's a surprise each time and I love it. And though the crates start off at $25, what you're getting in the box is worth much more than that. Check the link in the description below to order your first crate and use the code DONTY15 to get 15% off your order. Let me know what kind of loot you get in your crate and thank you Loot Crate for sponsoring this video. What's going on fam? It's your boy the Black Master Donchi. So a long time ago, I heard about this anime called Skate the Infinity, and I never gave it a try. I saw it in, I believe it was a gig video, and I just never watched it after hearing about it. However, after hearing about it, for some reason, I just kept on getting signs, just throwing me towards this anime, whether it was something about skateboarding, whether it was hearing about Air Gear again, even though I already read that. But let's just say I feel like the world is pushing me towards this anime. And after a few weeks of just being told, yo, watch this shit, Finally gave it a try, and bruh, this shit slaps way more than I thought it would. So Skate the Infinity, and that's SK8, not actually Skate, if you're trying to look it up after this video. But Skate the Infinity is an original anime produced by Bones. And when I say original, I mean there is no manga behind this, which surprised me because of how good it was. Not saying that for an anime to be good, it has to have a manga background, but it just caught me off guard because I saw how well this was made, and I was just wondering, how was there not a manga to this? So it's an original anime produced by Studio Bones, and the premise is that there's this underground illegal skateboarding competition known as S. Skateboarders all across Okinawa are a part of it, one of them being our main character, Reki. Now there's nothing special about Reki outside of his red hair. Like, you know, he's an okay skateboarder. He's not gifted in any way. He makes skateboards for himself. He works at a skate shop. He's just your average guy. He's going to high school. He's chilling. So the series starts off with Reki trying to race in this illegal competition, but he gets bodied. And you immediately see how mediocre this kid is. Or not even mediocre, but just average compared to everybody else. However, Reki meets a Japanese kid from Canada named Longa. She used to snowboard back in the day. So he meets Reki. Thanks to Reki, he ends up falling in love with skateboarding, and he ends up joining this S competition, but because of his experience as a snowboarder, he comes in gunning, like he's nice, nice. They call him the chosen one. And that leads to the story of Reki and Longa learning skateboarding together and just slowly getting better as the series progresses. That's pretty much it. The story's not anything to be wowed at, but I feel like that's one of the reasons why this anime is so good. Because the story is so simple and it kind of falls into the background of everything, it allows the characters to play a much bigger role and it lets them shine as the anime continues. Like you have Reku, who, as I said, is your average skateboarder. However, when you see how much he loves skateboarding and when you hear him talk about how happy it makes him, you can't help but like the kid and root for him and get hype every time he lands a new trick. And the thing I like most about him is that he's doing all this strictly because he's passionate about it. He's not trying to make money as a skateboarder. He's not trying to become the best skateboarder in the world. He just wants to improve for himself because skateboarding truly makes him happy. And that's dope because I feel like in anime like this, the goal is always to become the very best there ever was. However, in this case, he's just doing it because it makes him happy. And I think sometimes as people, we need to be reminded of that, you know? We just gotta be reminded that it's okay to wanna get better at something just for you. You don't gotta be the very best. You could just do whatever you're passionate about because it makes you happy. Then on the opposite side of the spectrum, you have a character named Adam. This guy is talented as fuck, but he believes only people who are good can fuck with him. He only wants to fuck with the best, so he has a completely different mindset, and it's dope watching all these different mindsets interact in the anime. Different characters have different reasons why they skateboard, and there are always conflicts with their ideals. And it gives an important lesson on why it's such a blessing that we're all different from each other. 
Yeah, having different perspectives on life can seem annoying, but without those differences, we would never be able to evolve our own perspectives and see the world in a different way, which is important. Some of these characters start off narrow-minded, but because of the influence other characters have on them, they start seeing the world in a different way and it like opens their eyes. And this is all happening through simple skateboarding, fam. Before I accidentally break off into another life lesson this anime taught me, let's talk about another reason why I fucking love this shit. The animations. Now, I feel like a lot of times we have those anime where all the budget is thrown into the first episode, and then after that, the episodes just kind of look lackluster until we get into another cool fight scene. I feel like throughout the whole anime, the animations are just on point. And it's funny because it's not even because there are any Sakuga moments like in Naruto. The pure greatness of the animations come in the subtleties. How the characters shift their way on the board, how people like Adam that ass dance on their board. The amount of attention paid to all the little things when characters pull off dope ass tricks. It feels like there was an equal amount of love given to each scene in this anime. And because of that, it's almost like you feel the life emanating from the screen as you watch it. And I feel like this is the quality you want for an anime about skateboarding, because when you're doing things like this, these kind of animations just work. That's the main reason why I could not get through the Air Gear anime. It just seems so stiff. And for something about rollerblading, why would you be stiff? But yeah, overall, these animations are just mm, beautiful. Chef's kiss, every single compliment in the book. The second thing that really drew me in was how grounded the series is. I say that because we all know that anime tends to get a little over the top sometimes. Like, perfect example, Air Gear. Air Gear started out with gangs fighting each other and riding rollerblades, and then people started kicking tornadoes. However, in Skate the Infinity, there are no crazy powers, no crazy abilities. It's just people skating. And there is a beauty in that, because it reminds me of things like Hajime no Ippo, Ace of Diamond, Kuroko no Basket, where yes, there are effects, but the effects are more used to emphasize how dynamic the sport is, not to actually give the player superpowers. In my opinion, this leaves room for the sport to actually shine in the anime. So we not only grow to love these characters, but also maybe grow to love the sport too. That's also one of the reasons why I think sports anime are great, because I was never someone who liked watching live sports. However, thanks to sports anime, I now understand why the fans watch the sports that they watch. And now I like watching it live. It used to be boring to me, but now I understand it. And I would say that because it's grounded, it makes me want to actually learn how to skateboard. Same reason why Hajime no Ippo drew me into boxing or Kuroko no Basket drew me into basketball for a short amount of time, but I never actually pursued those dreams, unfortunately. But yeah, because of the groundedness, that's even a thing in the anime, I see the characters having fun and I see the characters slowly getting better at their craft. And I look at it and I'm like, damn, I want that feeling. I want to be like you guys because you guys are having so much fun skateboarding and shit. And I want to have fun with you guys, even though you guys are fictional characters. Bottom line is I love that this anime is grounded. And because it is grounded, I may or may not buy a skateboard in the next few weeks. We'll see what happens. Yo, there is never a video where I'm not sweating. Jesus Christ. The third aspect of the anime that made me just want to continue watching it is the wholesomeness. Now you guys know I am a sucker for the wholesome activity, but bruh, Reki and Langa have the greatest relationship ever. They're, they're on par. They're close to, I won't say on par. They're close to the relationship that Gon and Killua have in Hunter x Hunter, and I love it. They care for each other, they support each other. Like, whenever Langa pops off, Reki's out there rooting for him, same thing on the opposite end. And the best thing about them is that they're real. Their friendship is not just straight up happiness and motivation. You know, they argue, they make fun of each other. They just feel genuine. I feel like Reki and Langa can just walk out the anime right now and I would wanna hang out with them. And the other friends they make just add to the wholesomeness. Bro, when they hang out and just share shit about themselves, it makes my heart smile. I feel like the Grinch and when the Grinch stole Christmas when his heart started expanding. They could honestly take these characters and make a slice of life anime and I'd still watch it. That's how likable these characters are. That ass, Skate is honestly just a nice, lighthearted ride for the soul that I feel like anyone would enjoy. If you're someone who's been watching or reading things more on the serious side like MHA, Chainsaw Man, or JJK, this is a nice break from all that. Literally my only problem with it, and I wouldn't even call this a problem, is that it's it's only 12 episodes. And I don't know if it's gonna get more. Like, a new skate project has been announced, however, nobody knows if it's gonna be a movie or an OVA or whatever. But from what it looks like, it may just be this one season and that's it. Just a short 12 episode anime that you just quickly watch and then you go about your business. I have a problem with that because I like it so much that I'm really sad that once I get to episode 12, I'm gonna be done. However, 
That may be good for an anime like this. I'm afraid that sometimes when anime like this go for too long, they end up killing themselves by accident because they end up taking themselves way too seriously or go over the top with like some random power mechanic that doesn't make any sense when it was supposed to be more grounded from the beginning. So yes, I am sad that it only has 12 episodes, but 12 episodes works for something like this. I'm here for it still. I still think it's great. I just wish, you know, maybe a season two. I'll, I'll do for a movie, but I would very much like a season two. It could be 12 episodes and I'm done. Then I'm good. I won't ask for any more. Studio Bones, please. Just like, I don't know. Make some more plot. But that is all I got to say for Skate the Infinity. If this video tickled your fancy a little bit, check out Funimation channel. That's where I watched it. I watched it dub. Surprisingly, the dub is very, very good. I was taken aback by how good it was. The dub is actually very good. However, if you want to watch it subbed, that's fine too. I would recommend the dub as well because the dub is just... The dub makes it even more funny to me because, you know, I speak English, so of course. But like I said, if you're more down for the sub, check out the sub if you want to. If you have already watched it, let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. And also, I'm curious, let me know if this either A, made you want to try skateboarding or B, rekindled your spirit for skateboarding if you already skateboarded in the past. All I'm saying is this, if you hear about me going to the hospital for trying to pull a Casper slide when I should not be trying to do that type of shit, I am sorry, but with that being said, end slate. Yo fam, thank you guys for watching another anime review video. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. I'm enjoying just doing quick reviews on manhwa, manga, or whatever it may be, you know? it's I just get my feelings out about it. I get to get all this energy out after I watch it. And it feels good, because you know, I can talk to you guys about it without spoiling too much. I feel like I have a knack for reviewing anime and then spoiling it for you inside the review. I think today, I did a decent job at telling you why I fucking love Skate the Infinity without completely ruining the plot for you. So you can watch, you can watch it, enjoy it, and then come back after the after after this video and tell me how you felt about it. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to see me talk about more anime or manga or manhwa. And hit that bell to stay notified whenever I upload new content. Shout out to my patrons. Without you guys, I would not be able to make content like this. And shout out to my Gold Squad patrons. Curtis Clarkson, DD, Dylan Boner, G Haven Esports Team, Graham Landsborough, Iron Poet, Manga Fury, Michael Peagle, Thorm X, Exec, and Zach Haji. I appreciate you guys so much for the extra funds per month. What you guys do really helps channel out a lot. I'm telling you guys, it really does. So thanks to you all, I'm able to continue doing this as often as I am. And it makes this, it makes doing this so much easier and so much better. So appreciate you. Thanks to you guys, the channel is still going. However, like I always say, if you cannot support with your funds, you just being here, getting this far, getting to the end of the video already helps out a lot. So thank you so much. But with that being said, I am off this. So as usual, be easy, stay lit, take care, stay healthy out there. Black lives matter. And don't forget, you can do whatever the hell you put your mind to. All it takes is practice and time. Watch Skate the Infinity. I'm dead ass. I usually don't say, yo, just watch the shit, but bro, it's 12 episodes and it's 12 episodes of greatness that is good for your soul. Watch that shit. It ain't that much. Put on your anime list right now, at the top, at the tippity top, then watch it. I don't care if you don't like sports anime. Hi, bye, watch Kate the Infinity.